What up? It's your boy Josh Brown coming to you guys live and direct again, man. Uh, today, you know, I just wanted to talk to my new agents out there. I know 2020 was crazy. Um, a lot of ups and downs. I've learned a lot, especially as being a new agent, which is, you know, something I never would have thought of being. But here I am. <laughs> um, but I had a crazy year. 2020, 2021, you know, I really think it's going to be even crazier. So um, here's five tips to all my new agents that are coming into the game, man. And, and if I can just give you guys some advice. Um, just to kind of speed up your process and learn from my mistakes. Um, I'm definitely happy here to do that and I'll be sharing my journey uh, through this whole process. Um, but just to get you guys started, five things that I learned my first year as an agent. Number one is going to be prospecting and follow up. Follow up. This is the name of the game, y'all. Prospecting, number one, looking for leads, trying to find a deal. Number two is just going to be following up with those leads that you find to get them to the closing table or to get, you know, getting them to, you know, sell their home. Um, that's really important. You should be prospecting at least two hours a day just so that you can keep that pipeline filled and you can have that consecutive closings, you know, build up as soon as you start to uh, attack that pipeline because your pipeline is going to be very important. Um, and that's why prospecting and following up because you're building relationships with these people. This is going to be a lifelong game. So if you're in it for the long haul, definitely stick to my channel, man. You guys at BC, I'll be giving you guys game just on how to, you know, be consistent in this game because that's the hardest part that I find out is being consistent. But just make sure you're very active with your branding too. Also, be be active on all these social media platforms. We got Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. All those are businesses, man, and they're businesses to attract more businesses. Advertising. So just be super, you know, you know, dedicated to to putting out a video every now and then. Um, don't be afraid of the camera. As you guys can see, you know, at first I hated taking video, but now I feel like it's the best form of communication so that you can get across the right message that you're trying to get across. Uh, number two, there are a lot of lead sources out there. Don't be afraid to try them all, but at least give those lead sources, you know, 30, 60, 90 days to actually seeing some results. Because what I did when I first started was I was everywhere, man. I was everywhere and I was just picking and choosing, not picking and choosing, but just trying to grasp at everything that I could because I'm a new agent. So to me, everything was a lead. Um, and, and at the end of the day, everything is a lead, but if you don't know, you know how to be consistent with a certain lead source for a certain period of time to see the results, then you'll do that with every lead source. So just be patient with the lead sources and be patient with real estate because it's a long-term game. Um, number three, create a business plan. It doesn't have to be a full business plan. It could be a slight business plan, but create one just so that it guides you and you can have a vision of what you, you, know, you want your future to be. Because eventually I want to scale and in order to scale, I have to have a business plan to see my, my production and what I'm doing throughout those years so that when I, when I do come to scale, I have the blueprint right there. So even if your business plan isn't, you know, fully done, at least start it, just start it. Um, and it'll, it'll, it'll benefit you in the long run. Number four is just going to be learn how to prospect. I mean, learn how to qualify people because the hardest thing when you're first starting is just qualifying somebody to find out if they can even buy a house. Because when I first started, you know, I knew what people needed, but I was so hungry for a deal that I was just thinking everybody could qualify. So I just said, forget, it. I'm going to just, I'm going to teach every, I'm going to treat everybody, you know, as if they're buying today, you know, and at the end of the day, you cannot because you have to talk to that person and understand what their actual situation is. Their situation might not be right now. It might be three months down the road or four months down the road, but you got to be able to qualify that prospect you know good and well enough to understand that and i didn't understand that at first so that's where i learned a lot um and i think you know just giving some new agents that information they can learn a lot from too and then number five man use if you're working for a brokerage use all the sources that that brokerage gives you to excel they give you all the tools you know and if it's not working out with you then ask somebody that's producing see what they're doing that you're not doing maybe follow them around maybe uh, role play with them maybe cold call with them while they're listening to you or or go on an appointment with them so you can see what you need to do better so that you can produce you can produce like them because at the end of the day man you want to be a producer in this game because it's very fruitful and it's not you know it's it's easy work but at the same time you have to be passionate about it and dedicated to it because you're not just going to come in this industry and think it's going to be like that because it's going to take time to get your balls rolling. Some people get it right away. Some people don't. Everybody's at a different stage. And then I'm going to give you guys one more just really quick bonus tip. And that's just going to be to role play um, and practice those scripts, man. Role playing is important because it'll, it'll teach you how to talk to these people and get these people to really understand. And you'll be able to learn how to qualify better because there's a certain 
you know, way you talk to people to get them to answer the questions that you need to get them to answer so that you can tell if they're even qualifiable to purchase a home. And if not, that's fine. You know, you can walk them through the steps to get them to that process, you know, maybe one or two years down the road whenever the time is right for you. Because at the end of the day, it's not about timing the market, it's about time in the market. And I'm gonna just recap those five things plus that bonus tip that I gave my new agents out there. Number one, it's just gonna be prospecting and following up. That's the name of the game in this industry, man. And those who prospect the most and follow up the most are the kings. Number two is just gonna be, there's a lot of lead sources, but whatever lead source you choose, give it 30, 60, 90 days, like give it some time so that you can actually reap the benefits of it. Don't try it for a week and say it doesn't work or maybe two days and say, oh, well, this, this isn't working out because real estate, again, is a time frame. There's, it's a longevity. So you have to give things time to, to come to fruition. Number three was just create a business plan. Even if it's a little one, start somewhere just so that you can build up a vision and you can see it through. <clears throat> um, number four is just going to be learn how to qualify because it's really important when you're starting. It's just a get those people through the process, the qualifying process, so that you can move on to the next and you can put them in the right box that they need to go in one month, two months, three months, just so that you can follow, you can put them in that follow-up process. Um, and then number five is just going to be use all the available tools to you that your brokerage provides or, you know, whatever you're starting to do. Just use, ask, Facebook, you know, get into groups, uh, uh, maybe do a Q&A, just trying to answer questions for people, like do something that outside of the box that will help you, you know, ask those people that are producing so that they can help you produce too. And then number five, that bonus tip was just practice those scripts and role playing. Those made me a beast on the phone, man. And my boy, I have a few people, my boy Jerron who helped me. Um, and then some other people at my brokerage, you know, I would role play with here and there, but you know, role playing is important, man. It'll, it'll take you to that next level, but you have to be committed, dedicated and, and hungry, man. You know, and in this game and I'm hungry for it. I'm passionate about it. You can create generational wealth through this stuff, man, but you got to be educated and informed so that the decisions you're making, you know, you can actually understand the decision that you're making and not making them on an emotional uh, level. So that's all I got for you guys today, man. It's your boy, Josh Brown. Make sure you like this, comment, follow, all, follow me on all my social platforms, man. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit you guys with more and more videos um, just so I can, you know, build my brand. Because, you know, by the block, property solutions you know we want the whole block man we don't want one house we need the block so that we can build our community up and show people that we can all do it but if we're not willing to want to try and want to learn then we'll still we'll continue down that cycle and that's what we, we're not here to do that man we're here to change that cycle so this is your boy josh brown with ihomes colorado this is my channel by the block subscribe like hit that like button smash it smack it um comment below man let me know what you guys think of my videos uh, if you have any questions about you know buying or selling a home you know i'm always here to help so it's your boy josh brown over and out